It's known as the gateway to the Americas, and Miami's port is a hub of global trade. Countless containers arrive here every day, many of them containing seeds and plants. At Department of Agriculture inspection stations, materials then tested for disease and potentially harmful insects. But each year, thousands of endangered plants are illegally imported and sold on the black market. If they find a new uh, orchid, let's say, in the, in the jungles of Peru, then you have to be really on the lookout for that. But usually it's, it's, it could be from anywhere in the world, so we're always on the lookout for that type of, uh, of material. The illegal trade in rare and endangered plants doesn't get the same attention as that of wildlife, but environmentalists say the consequences can be dire. Extinction is a real threat, but that's where the Global Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, or CITES, yeah. comes in. When the endangered plants are confiscated by the US government, many end up in places like this plant rescue center. There are 80 around the country, and this being Florida, many of the plants here are orchids, which will be potentially nursed back to health and sent back to their country of origin, none of which would happen without the CITES agreement. This nationwide rescue program means rare plants end up being cared for by experts, and when added to collections, they can play an important role in educating the public. It's not only important from the standpoint of protecting endangered species, but for people to be able to learn about these things is one of the biggest things that zoos do uh, for our collections. We educate the public about their story. Gifford Arboretum has 14 different exhibits. For others, though, the CITES treaty should go further in its goal to protect plants around the world. So there ought to be a way they work with, you know, botanical gardens to preserve these species. And then if they do die in their natural areas, they can be reintroduced. Technology is helping to fight the illegal trade in rare plants with the ability to grow many species in labs. But the threat to countless unique plants remains, making coordination and agreement between nations a vital tool. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.